Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We'll continue the slides. There are three main uh, important uh, discipline, I mean, uh, disciplines like project management, project management knowledge and practice, project management knowledge and practice, general management knowledge and practice, then application area knowledge and practice. So what is this project management knowledge and practice? So it is actually the uh, scope, this is a, it, it talks about scope of the management, scope of the management, then it talks about time, very important time. Then it talks about quality, that is very, very important. Quality is very important. It's a fitness for use, right? It's very, very important. Then risk management, risk management. Then communication, communication, communication. Then it talks about um, human resource. That's also very important, human, human resource. Yes. So these are the important project management and knowledge. And practices like, it is like mainly you have uh, like uh, initiation project project initiation, initiation, project initiation, then planning and execution, planning and execution. Then you have uh, monitoring and control, monitoring and controlling. Okay. Then, I mean, then talks about closing, project, project closing, that's important. So these are the things in project management knowledge and practice. Then you see here, on the other hand, general management knowledge and practice. It mainly talks about uh, like uh, development, development, storage, retrieval. Then uh, how to? This all mainly talks about how to improve the business. Improve the business. Okay. Business performance is very good. Then mainly then it also about the set of infrastructures. That's all things set of infrastructures. Infrastructures, yes. Then it talks about uh, technical, yeah. Technical and managerial tools. Managerial tools. Towards uh, creating, sharing within the organization. See, towards creating and sharing information within the uh, what is it in organization within the organization creating sharing knowledge in the organization yes so these things are very very important then we have uh, uh, application area knowledge and practice the application means it mainly talks about um, production Marketing and logistics mainly talks about uh, production. This practice mainly talks about production. Then it talks about marketing. Then it talks about logistics. Logistics is mainly is a very big branch. It talks about supply chain management. Supply chain management. So very big uh, uh, area. See, actually, it's application oriented. See, there are other application oriented factors like talks about and like functional areas like you have. Uh, functional uh, departments, see function, these are all the functional departments. And also we have technical departments, technical, technical elements, technical elements, like it talks about mainly about software, yeah. Software development, yes. Then also, um, man uh, I think management, management uh, specializations, management specializations, management specializations like have community development, that is very, very important, community, development, community development, then new product development, new product development, then government regulation, this is very, very important, government, government regulations, yeah, should follow those government rules. Then we have uh, like a um, general management knowledge, that is what is the general management knowledge, or how it can be broadly divided into four main areas, key areas, see, they, they call it as a key areas, see, key areas, and like negotiating, communication, leading, problem solving, negotiating, it talks about the scope, importance, then cost, then time, the choice, like changes to the same, if there is some changes in the project, the same, then contracts and terms, like how many validity of that, uh, and also the legal, these are contract terms, the legal issues, very, very important, and assignments and resources, like what are the resources, how it can be, then it is negotiable, it can be uh, negotiable, and flexible, actually negotiable means it is flexible, flexible, okay. Then you see communication, communication means the type how you uh, deal with your um, employees, like in return and spoken, 
in the internal and external, yeah? then formal and informal, and vertical horizontal. So we have commanding, see, it is the uh, lip of uh, communication, see, it's type of communication, type of communication, yeah. Then leading, leading means how you direct, like establish a direction, you should have a firm leader, you should have a, like uh, managers, good managers to align the customers, suppliers, everyone, and motivating, always should be motivating and inspiring, you should have a very friendly and cordial relationship with these people. Then at last, this leads to a problem solving issues like how you define the problem, how you make a decision to solve the problem. So this all affects the organization, it all affects the organization. Then we have a concept of triple constraints. We have a concept of triple constraints. What is this uh, triple constraints? Like it provides a framework. Framework means time. Framework means time, yes. For the understanding the project, trade-offs. What is trade-offs? Trade-offs, it is actually, um, uh, it's a decision, it's a situation, very, very important. It's a situational, the situational decision yeah. that involves uh, losing one quality or quantity or property in order to gain, like giving up, this giving up, so giving up something to gain, to gain something. Yes. So this is what it is. And it said, represents the project aspect, yeah. Like aspects like you have some areas like cost, scope, time and quality. Cost is controlled by the sponsor, yeah, the sponsor. The scope is a responsibility of the customer, very, very important. And time it is used by the project management to adjust the changes in to the other two. So this two, other two, yeah. Then quality added into the center if everyone comes and so everyone, everywhere you have, you should have quality, whatever you do and wherever you do, the quality is very, very important factor to be taken into consideration, yes. Then there's a triple constraint, see constraint, I said it is a limitation, time, triple constraint, limitation. So these three factors to be taken into consideration like cost, scope and time. So triple constraints is a misnomer. Misnomer, what is misnomer? Misnomer is sometimes made be a wrong one, wrong name or wrong uh, method, see? It's a wrong method that was once correct, but still used to identify the concept. See, it was first used, but it's a wrong number. Misnomer means wrong one. But here, these three factors are used to judge the customer satisfaction based on the quality factor. 